Hey guys, how are we doing? On today's video, I'm going to be teaching you my top tips and tricks for YouTubers using Final Cut Pro 10. And this doesn't matter if you're a complete beginner using Final Cut Pro 10 or if you are quite familiar with the software. But as we all know, a video editing takes quite a long time. So by watching this, if you can learn or take away any of my tips and tricks to save you a little bit of time, that's the aim of this video. So anyway, let's get straight into it. So here we are on Final Cut Pro 10. Now this is a video that I made a week or two ago, but I'm just gonna start from scratch and then as things go on, I'll teach you and tell you what I'm doing and I'm gonna put all of the commands and bits and bobs in the description so you can check them later just in case you missed something. So first of all we need to create an event so you can actually press function alt and n and this brings up the event name so we'll just call this intro and that on the left hand side you can see has come up on the events page as intro then you want to create a project this is where you're gonna be importing your videos into and playing around with them. This is just Command and N. We'll just call this one Intro 1. And now we need to import some videos that we can edit and make into a vlog or a video of any description. The shortcut again is Command and I. So you can either import straight from your camera if you can plug it into your computer. Or like me, I have PT here, my hard drive. So we'll just import these two videos from the same video. Cool, so they've appeared up here at the top. So now you can just grab these in and then press E, go straight into your project. My biggest tip for you guys is create a folder with your most common and most used stuff. Now let me explain this. So if you look here on my events page, I've got this 1-1 US regular. So in here I have a project with all of my bits and bobs that I use quite a lot. So this saves me a lot of time. Obviously this is quite zoomed out. Press Command and Plus, and you can actually zoom in very quickly to find a particular spot in your project. And obviously if you wanna do the reverse, Command and Minus, so you can zoom out. To zoom in, Command and Plus. To zoom out, Command and Minus. And also if you were zoomed too far in but you wanted to see the whole project, you can press Shift and Z, and that will show you the whole project from start to finish. Anyway, I have an intro, as you guys know, and I have an outro. Straight away, save myself so much time. Instead of importing it in, I can just go to the beginning, Command C, change over to the project we were in, Command V. There you go. Now my intro is at the beginning of the video, and say this was all of my project. I'm just using a short example. I can use my outro. You can go back to my most used, I'm gonna press Shift Z to zoom out again. I know it's around here. Zoom in, and there's my outro. So I copy and paste all of that bit. Command C, Command V. There we go, and I've got an outro as well. Awesome. So you've got your beginning, and you've got your videos in the middle, and you've got your outro. So obviously, when you're creating a video, everyone has pauses. Even while I'm talking to the camera, you can see I've snipped bits out where I've either made a mistake, or I've paused for too long while I'm thinking. So you can actually see it down here, I'm obviously not talking. Hover across, and then I would just press Command B, which is the blade tool. Get rid of all the pauses, so look, there's a pause here, Command B there, another pause around here somewhere. You can obviously see I've done my intro twice because I wasn't happy with it. But that's just a quick way of getting rid of all the infills of of just rubbish. You want your videos just to be snappy. You want no pauses. You don't want any lag in between. You want it to be short and snappy and straight to the point. Like I said, Command B, and get rid of all of the bits in between, just delete them. And this is where I tried to do a transition where <laughs> I do this transition here. Like, there would be two seconds. So I've pretended there was something on the lens. So if I just go there, Command B, get rid of that. So now it looks like in one swoop, I've transitioned into the next frame. Anyway, when you're looking at your video, it's always nice to have a bit of contrast, a bit of color. So I actually can't remember how you get to it. I just know if you press Command and six, it brings up the color board. And normally people go to saturation and they turn it up and down a bit. On the exposure, you turn that up and down a bit, but this is where my regular used project comes in handy. So if we go back over to my regular used and we zoom out, I actually have one here. 
that's called normal. This is an adjustment layer. And some of you might think, what is an adjustment layer? I'm going to explain to you, but first of all, there's an amazing YouTuber called Ryan Nangle. Now I'm gonna direct and put a link in the description for this specific video to download and install the adjustment layers. And while you're there, go and check out Ryan Nangle's page. He has loads and loads of awesome tutorials to really spice up your editing on Final Cut Pro 10. This is so handy for many reasons. And let me quickly explain why this is handy. Adjustment layers, you can actually, once you've installed it, again, the video will be linked below. It comes up here in your titles. And why, why is this so handy? So I've called this normal and very nice. Let's copy normal. With the adjustment layer, what you can do is, so I have already changed the color board on this. So you can see over here, the exposures are not much changed, but the saturation is up and down a little bit. And that just gives me a little bit of color. I don't go too much into color grading, apart from I do have another adjustment layer called Very Nice. This is just for my cinematic parts when it looks really cool. And I like to put, you see I've put the letterbox at the top and bottom, and it's just a much nicer color. It gives it a nice cinematic effect. So with these adjustment layers, you can adjust just the adjustment layer and then drag that as far as you want along to the end of your clips. And you can create as many as you want. It's just very handy and very quick to create an adjustment layer to the saturation and exposures that you like, and then name it something and put it in your most used regular project. Then I'm going to just drag this, like I said, all the way to the end. Okay, another great tip. If this audio was a little bit too loud, but only a little bit, I think a lot of people would try just drag this up and down and it's very sensitive. If you hold command while dragging, you're able just to drag it down a little bit at a time. So it's much more precise. If there was just a car going by or something was a little bit too loud and you want to lower the decibels just a little bit, you can just, like I said, click on the audio, hold command and just drag it a little bit, much easier. Another tip, if you're into your cinematography and you like them slow-mos or them time-lapses, a great tip for speeding up or slowing down your clips is to highlight the clip and instead of going into this area here and going into however fast you want it to be or custom, I personally just hold Shift and N and it goes straight to 100% and then you can quickly change it to whatever speed you like. If you want it to be quicker, 200%, just type it in, get it done as quickly as you can. Obviously a time lapse, you're probably gonna want it at least 1,000, 5,000 times faster. I find going into the options and then finding it all is a lot, takes a much longer time. You wanna learn as many commands as you can, lock them into your brain or put them into a note or write them down and just use them as much as you possibly can. And then you'll find your editing time will just decrease that little bit more because you're being effective with your commands and it's just so much quicker. And yeah, so once you're pretty much happy with it and you zoom out, check over it, you've got your intro, you've got the middle, you've cut out the bits in the middle where there's pauses and you've added maybe your titles and effects or your transitions into the next frame. Again, if you want me to make another video explaining stuff like this, just let me know down below. But once you're finished, I'm sure most of you already know this, you go over here and I just export it to the Apple devices 1080p. And yeah, call it whatever you want. Again, I'll just call it intro one. And there you have it. That will now save to your iTunes. And there you have it. You have a video done and dusted. Anyway, guys, I didn't want to make a long video. I just wanted to make a quick tips and tricks videos. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. If it did help at all, or you didn't know something that I have taught you today, please leave me a comment down below and let me know. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It does help me out. And let me know if you'd like me to do another one and teach you some more bits and bobs, or maybe some transitions, or a certain style, or text, or the way I make a video in particular. Please let me know and I will help you out. I'm here to help. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And yeah, I will see you hopefully very soon for maybe a vlog. But thanks again for watching. I hope this did help and I will see you on my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye now. There we go. There's a cable above my head, but luckily you can't see it. <laughs>